How y'all doing today, baby? It is Friday. It's a beautiful Friday down here in South Texas. The sun is shining brightly. It's about 92 degrees. I hope the sun is shining and warming your heart, no matter where you are. Anyway, it's Friday, baby, and around here, y'all know what that means. It is Beer and Bud Friday, so get that beer off the ice, and I hope yours is nice and cold, because mine is. And let's see if we can get this done in one take, baby. Ah! Oh, that's cold, and I like it that way, baby. It is a beautiful day, and we're, we're ready for a nice, beautiful weekend. We need to take a little moment to relax, baby. Breathe a little bit of the air. Take in a little sunshine. Mother Nature, if you can, the heart is good for your heart. Anyway, stuff that bud in the bowl, or whatever you prefer. <coughs> and get on with Beer and Bud Friday. <coughs> Got to make our little cut here so we don't get in trouble <coughs> before we get discussed what's going on. Anyway, give me one more sip of that beer. I'll finish that in a minute. Anyway, it is Friday, baby. It is Friday, and I hope you're having a great weekend. Anyway, what's going on today? Lots of shit going on today that we should be knowing about. We just need to pay attention. I heard that, uh, oh, oh, Evan Cochran, is that that guy, Cochran? He's uh, the, uh, the attorney for Donnie in the uh, Stormy Daniels payoff case and all that stuff who didn't want to testify before. I understand he's up there having to testify, baby. You know, because the judge says you can't have attorney-client privilege if you're committing a crime, if you're planning a crime or something like that. So, boy, how does shit. Donnie's not too happy about that. Donnie got a little pissed off last night, baby. He got way pissed off. We'll get to that in just a second, but what else is going on? Big news today, baby. That's right. We got more of the same, baby. Another judge saying, hey, you can't do that if you're committing a crime. What am I talking about? Federal judge out of D.C., baby, came up with a list of eight people, eight people that have to go in front of the grand jury in Washington, D.C., I believe about the January 6th violence there, and testify, and they include... They include Mark Meadows, his chief of staff. You know, hey, hey, executive privilege. Not if you're committing a crime, baby. The list goes on. Oh, Stephen Miller, remember him? The little Nazi guy involved? Yeah, we all know who Stephen Miller is. Get your ass in there, buddy. You gotta spill your guts. Don't think about lying either now. You'll get in trouble. Uh, Don, uh, Don, Seaview? Don Savino, I'm sorry. Dan Savino. Can't even read bone. Damn right. Uh, John Radcliffe, who was the director of national intelligence, and uh, and Robert O'Brien, who was part of the national, he was a national security advisor, and three other guys, they all got to go in there and testify because your executive privilege shit just went out the window. And now, you know Donnie's going to appeal, but he ain't been doing too good here lately with that shit. He keeps losing his ass. He's getting in trouble. And he's desperate, baby. And that's what he did last night on his little... His little truth social, baby, he came out last night between 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning, they said. And he is just demanding all sorts of shit. He wants everybody fired. He wants uh, that D.A. Bragg fired from up there at New York, the state attorney up there. Uh, he wants Fannie Willis uh, fired. He wants uh, Jack Smith fired. He wants everybody that is investigating him fired, baby. He wants them removed from office. Why? Well, because he's concerned about our country. He told it that the, the, the radical left is just taking over the country and going to destroy America, and he's concerned there could be death and destruction. Those are his words. You remember what this man is saying. He is threatening, insinuating, I'm sorry, Russ, that fine line there. He's insinuating that if he doesn't get his way, that this country risks death and destruction on his behalf. You tell me he's a patriot? Anybody, anybody who is a Trump supporter is a disgrace to this country and in my book, a traitorous, treasonous asshole who is just hell-bent on supporting a wannabe Kim Jong-un, a wannabe Putin. That's what they want in this country, a glorious leader. We'll all get up and clap for him every time he gets up and just bow down and do whatever he wants because that's what he's threatening, baby. So, yeah, enjoy your beverages this weekend. Enjoy the sun if you got it, baby. Do whatever you have to do to make your heart a little light. 
But don't forget for a freaking minute that this country is under attack from a former president. He is not trying to get elected. He is trying to raise an army. He's trying to convince American citizens to turn on their fellow Americans with death and destruction, I guess. Yeah, sound patriotic to you? I don't think so, baby. Check it. Check your shit at the door. Anyway, it is the weekend. We'll be back Sunday for another BDF family meeting. <laughs> so be there and come join the conversation. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye.